And this movie will set up our tabs by duplicating them. We need a couple more tabs and then create a content area uh, to hold images and text and video, whatever you want to include in your tabs interaction. Now, since we already have one tab button set up, we don't have to go back and recreate additional tabs. We can actually just duplicate this a couple of times to create the additional tabs. So I'm going to duplicate it by press and hold my control key and you can see how your cursor changes. So once there, you're holding that control key, click and drag to make a, another tab. Perfect copy of our original uh, uh, tab. One more time, let's create three of them. So press and hold the control key and click and drag. And that gives us three. We should do a couple things here. Uh, let's go ahead and rename this second tab to label two. So select it and then in the uh, states tab down below, click edit states. And we'll just come in here and change that one to a two and click done editing. And then we'll change this third one to label three or whatever you're calling yours. But I just want to have three different ones. So it just makes it visually easy to identify which one I'm working with. So click done editing. Now we have three tab buttons. Let's go ahead and also name those in the timeline. So label one. label two, and then finally label three, or whatever you want to name them is fine. Okay, so we have three tab buttons. They're named accordingly, both in the timeline as well as their labels. Now we can actually start laying out our overall tab design. So I'm gonna minimize this timeline here for a second. I'm just gonna start positioning these in place. Now, I really wanna make sure that these are aligned. Even though there's a snap to grid and an alignment to the objects, always find that it's just best and safest to uh, use the uh, built-in alignment tools to ensure that everything really is pixel perfect. So just drag a quick selection around your tabs up here from the format. We want to choose a line. We want to first align bottom and align distribute horizontally. So I guess everything worked out really well that time, but still never a bad idea to go back and, and do that. Now, a couple things here. You probably want to have a little bit of overlap with your tabs. In this case, I actually put them where there is no overlap, possibly the way you want to work. But sometimes it's just nice to have a little bit of overlap between the tabs just to look like uh, they are uh, more like a real world tabs folder where there is a little bit of that crossover. Depending on how you want to stylize them. But uh, if you want to go back and nudge them back, then just keep coming in here and distributing horizontally. That might be a little bit too much. One way you can kind of work with this is just to work with one of the end tabs and then select and then distribute. You don't have to modify each one as you're sizing them out. So if I select all of these, one thing to keep in mind is when the tabs overlap, if they're overlapping too much, in this case they're not, but let's just, let me jump up here so you can see this because this is uh, just a good workflow. There's a lot of overlap between these two tabs right here. So if I'm hovering over the second tab, Storyline's gonna always give me the topmost tab. It's not gonna know that I want this bottom one. How does it know, right? It's really just going to go for the tab that's on the top. So a little bit of overlap is okay because learners most likely are going to move their cursor somewhere around the center of the object. But if you get too much overlap, then it really gets confusing and they feel like they're not interacting with the buttons properly. So a little overlap is okay, but uh, just be sure that you're kind of watching how much of that actual overlap exists. And I probably want to come up just a little bit more. Distribute horizontally. I can shift click two of these. That's not too bad because most likely the uh, this middle uh, area is still open for me. Now, one other thing that happened here when we uh, set up these tabs is we kind of duplicated the first one and kept going to the right. Well, that's possibly okay, but I think in some ways it might actually make more sense to move each of these below. So this is the topmost tab, and let me show you what it looks like. If I right click and choose send to back, and then I right click this one and choose send to back. To me, this feels a little bit more how I would want these tabs to feel where this topmost one on the left, left to right is the topmost. And then if I have these, these will come up as we build this. But right now, I'm just seeing that this is the one that I want to see. So now we can go ahead and just add a content area. It doesn't have to be anything special. 
I'm just going to work with a rounded rectangle. So from insert, shape, and bring in a rounded rectangle, just something to cover up most of our slide. And again, that, <laughs> that corner is way too round for me. So drag that yellow diamond over. And let's just add a white color here for the shape fill. And if I want an outline, I could use it, but I think I'm just gonna turn it off. And you can see where, probably have to come in here and do something, a couple things. I can move it down to reveal more of my tabs, but I don't want as much of that little snip area, that little angle showing. So what I'm gonna need to do is just modify my tabs real quick. I'm gonna come in here and edit states. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to move up my text box a full click. So I'm just gonna not click my, not hold my control key or my shift key, just press the arrow up key once, you click done, and let's see how that looks. That looks a lot better. So to get these other two in the same place, select the second tab, edit states, select it and just press the up arrow once. And I'll do the same thing for the third tab. And that looks a little bit better like that. So if I minimize my timeline, there's essentially my overall tabs interaction. And then all that would be left would be just to make sure that everything is positioned in the slide. One way I can ensure that this content area is, slot, is uh, centered within the actual slide is just select the rectangle itself, come up here to align, and you have this option align to slide that's checked. And then if I align it to the center, I can nudge it over. And then it really depends on where I want my tabs. Maybe I want them all to the right or to the left, I mean, or I could center them in the actual project. But that's the little level of fine tuning we're not gonna get into. But essentially, once I have this, this content piece in place, then my tabs are really all I need to worry about. And if I wanna space them out, I can do that as well. But um, that's really more to your own personal design taste.